right? But now we want to ask, wait, what if my uh, electric field is very high? What happened? We just now say that mobility, I mean, velocity equal to mobility times electric field. And this is so-called mu, isn't that? This is the velocity and this is the electric field. This is the electric field, this is the velocity. But actually in silicon, if you keep increasing the uh, electric field, you cannot indefinitely increase the velocity. This is not because of general relativity. It's just because when you activate the electron with higher energy, it increases the chance to lose more energy easily because of increasing mechanism of scattering. You want to know it's like you enable it to do something called optical phonon scattering, which it cannot do when it has low energy. Okay, just like a person, right? You keep it growing up, you thought that it's earning more money, but then when that guy goes up, it has more spending unlike a baby, which only eats and drink and sleep, right? So there is something called saturation velocity, the maximum that you can get to, okay? And there is an electric field. Once you reach there, you basically just traveling at saturation velocity. Okay, so what is the critical electric field? We say that at saturation velocity, right? your mobility is mu times E, right? So this is the critical electric field. So this is the point, it is what? 10 to the power five, but I am going to multiply this by 100, so it becomes cm per second, divided by the mobility, 100 cm square V per S, which is 10 to the power five volt per cm. So once you reach this electric field, your electron will be traveling at a constant velocity, right? Even you add high electric field, you said refuse go to travel faster. That is the limit. So when will we hit this problem, velocity saturation? Think about 100 nanometer gate length. If assume everything is even, then what is the drain voltage? divided by 100 nanometer will give you 10 to a power five volt per cm, right? If you do some math, 100 nanometer, I told you last time, is 10 to the power minus nine meter, which is 10 to the power minus seven centimeter times 10 to the power five volt per cm. What is this? One volt. So when you reach 100 nanometer, you go into velocity saturation regime already. So what is the conclusion of today's class? All you have learned are wrong. Because I've been assuming constant velocity, mobility when I derive this equation. But now we are doing with very short channel, 100 nanometer or smaller. We need to consider the saturation velocity. Okay, so we will continue in the next class. Let me know if you have any questions.